Hi guys, hello, good evening. Oh, great day, right? Nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Lilian. Who are you? How was your day? Um, I was fine. I I fin I finished my work at uh, early. Oh, good. What time? Uh, 4 p.m. Uh, oh, that was really early, actually. So, yes. did you rest before the class? Uh, no. no? Uh, because uh, uh, a little. <laughs> Just a little, okay. Yes, house, a little. house chores? Tareas del hogar? House chores? Mm, no. No? Okay. No. Okay, okay great. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, perfect. But you rest yes. tomorrow. Yes. Okay, that's great. Awesome. Okay, so tomorrow we you will wake up like around nine a.m. Yes. <laughs> feel so good. I feel so good. Okay, good. Nice to have you here, Lilian. Omar, who are you? Uh, a little bit tired. Was it a long day? A long week. <laughs> a long week, but just finishing. Ready. Okay, you're resting tomorrow, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so tomorrow, yes. Great. great. Okay, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. It's okay. Yes, perfect. I, I, I envy you. Tomorrow I have to wake up early. I, ha I have some things to do very early. The beach. The beach. Oh, I wish, but no. <laughs> no, some I have to do. Uh, how do you say? I forgot how you say, like something like mandados. No. Uh, no, it's like chores. Like chores. Runs. Uh, sorry? Chores. It runs. Oh, it's a runs. It's true. That's the word. Summer runs. Right? So I got to do some of them, right? Um for tomorrow. That's why I have to get up early. So it's like okay. Um so anyway. Good. Alejandra, hello. Hello, good evening. Okay. The exercise that you sent me. Are the long ones from yesterday? Yes. Wow. How long did it take you? Mm -hmm. More or less seven, seven, I, I remember, attempts. Ten minutes? No, seven attempts. Oh, seven attempts. <laughs> okay. And in time? Uh, half an hour. <laughs> You know, yeah. when I look for that exercise, I said, it's long, but I think that they can do it, especially if it is in pairs. But wow, I never thought that it was going to be that yeah. long. No. Yeah, but today, no long exercises. Today, they are short, okay, for you to yeah. practice, okay? So don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah, anyway. Okay, Joseph, are you there? Like this, Joseph. Can you give us a sign, please? No. Okay, Joseph is not there. Uh, let me see, Melanie. Hello, Melanie. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Oh. Don't worry. You're busy. Excuse me. You're busy. Um. So so, teacher. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, get your stuff and then uh join us. Uh, Melanie. How, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm pretty good. It's Friday. Okay. Yes. How was your day? My day was very, very busy in the morning. Very busy in the morning and in the afternoon? The traffic was horrible. <laughs> uh -huh. Awful. It's okay. <laughs> How many hours that, that, does it take you to get to your house? Mm, for example, today I maybe two hours in the, the traffic. Saying saying like me, two hours to get to my house. Yeah. I got up at four and I got to my house at six. <laughs> so imagine. Yeah, I got up like five. At five, and you got to your house at seven. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's terrible. So 
terrible. Okay, but nice to have you here, making the effort, right? Um, great. Um, let me see. I got some other ones, but I'm with the camera off. I don't know if you are there. Uh, Brenda, Jose Fernando, nice to see you, right? I hope that you had a great day. Fidel, nice to see you too. And the other ones, I hope that you are there, right? So because I don't see Claudia Diaz, Cristabel, Yesenia, Catherine, and Adriana. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Catherine. Who, who are you? You busy eating? Yes, I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> I guess that when you say hello. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Continue chewing. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Join us when you finish. Okay, then the other ones, well, uh, thank you for being here. Today we continue with the topic, guys. Okay, so we will continue working with it. Uh, now, one thing I was going to ask you, the forum will be next week, okay? I will put the forum during the weekend. If you can start completing it during the weekend, do it. If not, you can start next week, okay? Not a problem. The homework is already there. You know what it is. Uh, if you feel confident that you can complete it, do it, okay? And depending how we see the topic today, uh, we'll see if we continue on Monday, okay? So let me just um, share here the screen, okay? So, and we got, we got to continue with our class for today. Now, um, same objective, use perfect models to give advice or any other, um, comment right let's say like that okay i have some images here look what happened on each of them have you ever lived one of these situations the first one forgot the keys uh, in the car <laughs> really what do you do sorry what do you do what will I do in this situation? Yes, what do you do? Uh, I don't know. I never passed this incident in my life. <laughs> okay, sorry, got confused. Did you just say that you leave the first situation? This one, forget the keys of the car uh, Yeah, inside the car. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 I just saw that you are asking us about what happened in, in the situations? Ah, yes, yes, that is one. But if you had ever lived one of these situations. Ah, okay. Anyone? Have you ever lived one the of second, these? The second, the second. The second one. I wake what? up late, so I have to the run second. the faster possible for can go with, arrive to my job early. You have to run so fast that, um, you know, it happened to me one time. I. Got up so late and I just woke up and I have to confess I did not take a shower that day. <laughs> I had to run, so it was pretty fast. But then I took the shower in the afternoon. How about you? Let me see. Uh Melanie, have you ever lived one of these situations or Jose Fernando? Or Silvia or Joseph? Have you ever lived? Okay, we have. Okay, forget the keys in the car. In this one, get up late. In this one. Yeah, in my case, I I got I had a bad uh, grade in an exam. <laughs> really, why well, well, exam? Tell us about it. Okay, uh, I remember that uh, uh, when I study in bachillerato, high school, it's high school. Uh, um uh, the the teacher is uh, saw that uh, we need create or create a group with a uh, three person mm -hmm. for the exam mm -hmm. and other person uh, didn't do nothing during the exam and then uh, I had a bad grade for for this reason and uh, I remember that I I talk with the teacher and he 
so that uh, 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 they give uh, they go uh, advices and teacher how do you say me regañó you got to scold it okay so and uh, you scold it and um, uh, he give me other opportunity for have a better grade <laughs> okay well, this terrible. okay okay what would you have done differently in that situation to avoid it in my case maybe i should have a selected selected a order partners for for the exam <laughs> Okay, so you, you should have selected or you should have chosen uh, different partners. Okay, that's a good one. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good, Jose Fernando. Uh, let me see, Jose Fernando, choose another person. Maybe Brenda. Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hello. Okay, Brenda, have you ever lived one of these situations? On the wake up later. <laughs> wake up late. Okay, what happened? Um, I I am a wake up um very very um temprano. Early. Early. Uh, but he got to my work in the 4 a.m. <laughs> oh, okay, so it means that you got to your work earlier, not late. Yes, early, early. <laughs> okay, how many hours before? But, how many hours before you got early? For example, um, uh, yes, tell me. Um, the one and two hours. Two hours before. Yes. Okay, and what did you uh, do? Depending the the traffic. <laughs> um, I am I I live in Japan. I work in the Plan de la Laguna. Okay, <laughs> let me get if I get this straight. It is not that you got up late. It is that you got up too early. Yes. No? Yes. Yes, okay. And you got to your work very early. Yes. Okay, like two hours before. Yes. Okay. What do you do that day? You had two hours before entering. What do you do? Think, think on this, okay, you had two hours before getting to your work. Or guys, um, could you say, uh, anyone, could you say, what would you have done with those two hours early in your work? Maybe I can went to a um, um, place for can eat. Meanwhile, the hours, meanwhile, oh, it's okay. the, uh, the working hours. Oh, so you, you would have looked for a place to eat. Yes, maybe a cafe or... Okay, very good. Thank you, Alejandra. Anyone else? What would you have done with two hours before in your work? I could... Um, I could have... You could have? I'm sorry, didn't get it. Someone opened the microphone. Oh, Lilian, could you close the microphone? Thank you. Uh, Melanie, continue. You would have? Uh, take a nap. In my case, I take the nap. <laughs> my, my area, area, I don't oh, know. Oh, good. So you would have taken a nap. Okay, that's a good one. I like it. I sleep in the car too. Okay, Catherine and then Joseph. Catherine. Uh, teacher, in the past, I worked uh, at 6 a.m. So one day I woke up at 2 a.m., but 
I don't watch, I don't saw the phone. I just took a shower and went <laughs> And okay. when I back to the the bedroom, I took my cell phone and I saw that it's the two two and a half hour. So I returned to sleep again. Okay. <laughs> but you know, but those are like esos son sustos que dan gusto. <laughs> two hours of sleep again. <laughs> Okay, okay, good. Thank you, Catherine. What would you have done in the case of Catherine? Or what could you have done if you had gotten up so early before work? Let me see. Uh, Joseph, you want to participate or another person? Teacher, in the... Uh... In the person I, I had experience for wake up very, very late. In the last weekend, uh, the last weekend I woke up, I woke up, uh, I woke up 7 30 a.m. I forgot, I forgot that uh, I went to work in this day. Because the the night the night the night before, I slept very very late. Uh, I was watching a videos in my in my laptop. Okay, what would you have done differently? Excuse me. What would you have done differently? Uh, I would. Uh, I would have um, no. I would have be I been. Mm -hmm. I would uh, have been very good. I would have been a uh, more more early. No, sorry. I would have. I would have been a. Uh, more preparing in the morning and no no slept very late oh good you would have been more prepared in the morning yes okay okay that's a good one great joseph okay so let me see has anyone got him um i don't know because almost everybody got him up earlier now the ones who are driving for example in this case what would have this person done differently because this person is driving and is almost hitting another person. He should have what? He should have paid more attention in the road. Okay, he should have paid more attention. Okay, good. Omar? She, no, he who uh, couldn't text on the cell phone. Ah, okay. Okay, but the, let's let's try. He because we're couldn't saying have, couldn't have texts on the oh, cell. Oh, he, he should shouldn't have have what? shouldn't have text 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 it on the cell phone on the cell. Phone. Great, he shouldn't have texted on the cell phone. Very good. Okay, Joseph. Uh, he shouldn't. He shouldn't had. Um, I. I forget the idea. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> we can come back with you later. Okay. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Let me see. Um, what should he have done? Let me see, um, Sylvia. This one. Okay, let me put this one here, this one. Maybe um, he, he take a picture. Oh, but we are saying because he's driving and he's with the phone texting and he's almost hitting a person. What should he have done differently? He should have to to have to have um uh the I take a, a picture in the the 
del, de la, de la esque, de la esca, ¿cómo es el paisaje? La esque. The landscape, oh, but he's driving. He's driving. Do you think it's okay texting and, and driving? Do you think it's okay that he's texting and he's driving a car? No, no, it's okay, but uh, um, some one person I uh, I do it. <laughs> yes, I know. I know, I know. Hey, I will give you one example. So in that way, it's going to be easier. And then we go with the rest. He should have put the cell phone away. Okay. So he should have put the cell phone away. Why? Because it's not okay to drive and use the cell phone. Aunque aún así lo hacemos muchos. <laughs> okay. So, but that could be an example. Let me move. Okay, here, here, close here. And let me move to the next one. Now, reminder, okay? Grammar, okay? Just for you to remember the, um, the grammar rules of these ones, okay? Now, what do we use the perfect models for? Para que usamos los perfect models? Could you tell me? Anyone? What do we use them for? To express regret. regret. To express regret. Okay, Jose Fernando. For uh, give advice and some some case for conditional advice. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, basically is to say what you would have done in a certain situation, right? I will tell this in a Spanish parenthesis. Es básicamente para decir lo que usted hubiera hecho o lo que usted habría hecho o debió haber hecho en una situación. That's all, right? For example, if you say that um, in the case of um, that getting up very early, levantarse a las dos de la mañana y no darse cuenta, right? In that case, okay. What would you have done? ¿Qué habrían hecho ustedes? What would you have done in that situation? Mm -hmm. uh, the person I would have done uh, listening, listening to music on my cell phone. Oh, so you will have listened to music on your cell phone. Okay, good. Yes. Alejandra? I will just sleep again. Oh, you will have a slab again. Okay, good. Uh, what else? Lillian? Teacher, uh, some sometimes I wake at the three a.m. How <laughs> so early? Yes. What do you and do? I, I I go to the bathroom and, and I try to sleep again. Uh, or but it's difficult for me. I. I try to, I listen to music, uh, but it's the relaxed music. Okay, so now let's say that that happened to you one time. Okay, digamos que le pasó una vez. Okay. What would you have done differently? ¿Qué habría hecho diferente usted en esa situación? What would you have done? I should have uh, listened, listening the uh, relaxed music. Very good. I should have listened to relax or oh, relaxing, sorry. Relaxing music. No, there you go. Okay. The, for example, tal vez no escucho música, but it, what you say is that, oh, debía haber escuchado música, música relajante. Okay. So, very good. Now, guys, just to remind you, Okay, I'm going to have it like this. What do I have? Oh, here I go. Okay, important, very, very important. This is structure, remember, is to say, to give advice, to give regret, but in the past, saying like what you would have done, lo que usted hubiera hecho, lo que pudo haber hecho, lo que habría hecho, 
Okay, so it's basically like that. What a structure we have to follow all the time. Okay, so should have plus past participle of the verse, right? So in this point, it's important that you know the past participle of the verse. That is essential, right? At this point, it's essential that you know the past participle of the verse. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. Now, why? Because when we are going to construct a sentence, I'm going to use right here. When we construct a sentence with this structure, we will use subject, okay, plus modal, okay? And what can be the models? It can be which ones? Should, what else? Could, made, might. Made, might. Coven, phone. Which one? Must. Oh, must, very good. Must, is there another one? Or for the moment, yeah. please. Can, can. Yes, actually can, okay. But for, to make it easy for you, let's leave it until here, okay? So let me just make it. Oh, thank you. We are missing that. That one is important. Wood. I'm going to put it like this. Okay. Plus, gosh, I need more space. Plus, what follows? The yeah, verb auxiliary have. Oh, auxiliary? Auxiliary to verb have. Plus? Past participle. Past participle. Like this. Okay, that is the structure that you will follow. Okay, so now remember that yesterday we were seeing how to use this one or when to use this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? Depends so much on what you want to say. Depende muchísimo lo que usted quiera decir, right? That's all. Okay, so mostly, for example, um, let me give you a situation. Um, I lost my bus because I got up late. Perdí el autobús, right? I got up late. Which ones, which one could you use to give me advice? ¿Cuál de estos pueden usar para darme advice? Moss. Moss, okay. Can you give me the, the complete advice? Use the sentence. Follow the structure. You say you, so you. You must how to take a pill to sleep well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but check something. Pass participle. You must have what? Take a pill. What is the past participle of take? Taken. 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 Uh, ah. So, I'm going to use another color here. Uh, let me see. Maybe, maybe you can see um, this color. I change everything. Okay. So, you, okay, must. Oh, lo voy a poner así para que vean cómo va cada uno. Have. Okay. Taken. Look at the structure. You, subject, must, the model, auxiliary have, pass parifold. You must have taken what? Appeal. To what? Appeal. Uh -huh. Appeal to what? To sleep better. To sleep or to better. Sleep well. Or to sleep well. Okay, so that is basically the structure. Okay, now let's uh, let me give you another situation. Let me see. Um, well, I got a bad grade. I got a bad grade in the exam because I did not study. I play video games. What can you tell me? I play video games, I did not study, and I got a bad grade. 
teacher. Okay. Oh, wait, Joseph. Wait. Alejandra rose the hand first. Okay, Alejandra. Uh, you shouldn't have wasted your time your time uh, playing video games and you shouldn't. Okay. You well, shouldn't have have uh, wasted wasted your time in video games. In video games. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You see. So, is there another one that you could tell me? Uh, um, maybe you should, shouldn't, you shouldn't have played. You should have played a lot of video game all night. <laughs> okay. All night. Okay, there you go. Now, look, we are following the structure. Subject. Modal, auxiliary, very past participle, and this is the complement. Okay, so very good. So um, I don't know. So far, are we getting the idea how this works? Doubts? This is the moment that you you can ask. No doubts. Okay. Let me show you then. Uh, oh, yes, tell me. Uh, I have a question. In the situation, I want to say it's correct saying I have, I do have, have. Uh, for example, I forget, I forget my things in my house. Is this correct saying I should have, have? Uh, like I this? have yes, a copy of, of the other KEP. It's, it's correct saying I should have a uh, ever have. It's correct. Why? Because here this have is an auxiliary. It's not a verb, it's not a verb. Aquí este have no funciona como verbo, funciona como auxiliar, right? Which is the verb in this sentence? ¿Cuál es el verbo en esta oración? Which is the verb? Had. Had, very good. Had. So, and the verb is in past participle, right? That is important. It's correct. Okay. Okay, uh, great. Thank you, Yesenia. Any other question? Okay, cool. Let me just erase here. And I'm going to close this one. And let's see. The next one. Oh, gosh. Quedó rayado. A ver, a ver. I'm going to erase everything. There. Okay, this is uh, for you to have more examples, right? And to have an idea how it works. For example, um, would have. Okay. Oh, I think that we saw this one yesterday. But anyway, I got another one. Oh, this one. Okay, what I was telling you, subject plus modal plus have plus past participle, okay? So with some of them, um, so I should have gone, I should have played, I should have visited one page. What is important here? Verse in past participle, okay? Hay que poderse todos los verbos en pasado participio. That is the, it's a must, right? Because the structure always will be the same with subject, with a modal, with have, and the very past participle. Okay. Depending on how much what you want to say. Okay. In something like that. Okay. So that's why we got this ones here. Okay. Examples that we saw yesterday with this ones. Okay. Using would have, could have, may have, might have. So when are we going to use these ones? Cuando los vamos a utilizar? Remember, when are we going to use them? Any idea? So to make it easy and simple, we are going to use them according to the situation and according to what we want to say. Dependiendo que queramos decir, 
we are going to use it. For example, would have, okay, it's just to say, um, hey, um, I got up early to go to work and it was the, my day off. Me levanté temprano ir al trabajo y era mi día libre. <laughs> okay, what would you have done in that situation? ¿Qué habrían hecho ustedes after, after that? Right. Which one? I may have listened to this listen music. I might have listened to music. Yo habría escuchado música. Okay, good. Very good. Um, now, any other one? What would you have done? Okay, let's do something. Maybe we practice with exercises, you're gonna be more confident with this. Now, make a sentence with a past model. Look at these sentences and let's try to complete them. Also important, read this. So in that way, you might have an idea what to say. Look at the first one, volunteer for the number one. Me teacher. Okay, Joseph, give it a try. I should have both. Okay, let's see I if it works. I, I should, should have both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Both great. Uh huh. Bread, but bread, but and I didn't know we needed it, needed it. Okay, very good. Do you think I should? Oh, sorry. Le volví a poner el ahí ya estaba. Okay, I should have bought bread, but I didn't know we needed it. Do you think it will be correct like this? What do you think, Alejandra? I should. Have bought. Yes, it's, it's correct. It could work, okay. Yeah, I mean, um, de, debía haber comprado pan, pero no sabía que lo necesitaba. Yeah, it could work. Let's leave it like that, it could work. Number two, uh, Joseph, choose a person. Someone who has not participated. Okay, let me see. One, two. Um, Claudia Esther. Claudia Esther, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good. Uh, what would be the one here? Uh, um, we we should we should have invite invite. This is invite or invited. Invited, <laughs> invited. Oh, very good. <laughs> we, so okay, uh -huh. continue reading. So many people to our party. Uh, thought. <laughs> I am worried that we won't have enough a room for everyone. Uh, okay, after reading the complete sentence. Ah, uh, past negative. What yes. do you think? We shouldn't have. Shouldn't. Have. We shouldn't. Shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I left as a plan though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't. Okay, very good. We shouldn't. Why we shouldn't? Uh, because of the context, right? Mm -hmm. We have to read the context. Ah, okay. So because. I'm worried that we won't have enough. Ah, okay, so we shouldn't have. No debimos haber invitado. Like that. Okay, uh, got it, Claudia? Uh, got it? No? Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Claudia, choose another person, someone who has not participated. Um... A Vicky. 
Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello. Okay, Vicky. Number three. I should have uh, started saving money years ago. I should have started like this. Okay. Yeah, it's past advice. Is, is there another model that I could use instead of should? Cool. Um, cool. 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 Like this, I could have started saving money years ago. Okay, uh, Jose Fernando. Teacher, in this case, we can, can we use I must. I've started serving. Must. Okay. Now, let me ask you. Let me ask you. I'm going to. Okay. Come on. Here. Let me ask you guys. Having all these three models, how do they sound to you? Do they sound correct when you say them? For example, if I say I should have started saving money years ago, does it sound okay? Yes, it's okay. It sounds okay. Okay. So it's like debería haber empezado a guardar dinero muchos años atrás. How about if I say could? Does it sound okay? Um In the no. present, I must. I must have. Okay, okay. What am I saying if I use could? Yo podría haber. Mm -hmm. Yo podría haber iniciado guardar el dinero este, de muchos años atrás. Mm -hmm. Does it sound correct? Yes. It sounds yes. correct. So, and how about with must? Uh, yo debería haber iniciado. In this one, it's not that one. It's not debería. Debí. Yo debía, ajá, yo debí haber iniciado. Exactly. So now I want you to understand this part. Do you see the difference in the three of them? Notan la diferencia en lo que están diciendo en cada uno. Yes. So depends on what you want to say. That's the one that you can use. Right. Depende mucho lo que usted quiera decir. That's the one that you are going to use. Okay. So, uh, questions with this one. Any question? Is everything cleared? Doubts? Okay. Yes, tell me. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, you have, uh, for example, uh, a picture. Eh, I don't sé cómo decirlo en inglés. <ríe> que tenga como un porcentaje de. Ay, no sé cómo explicar. Okay, there are, I, I think that I know what you mean. There are tables that show you like the percentage of certainty that you have with this one. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, actually, yes, there are tables for that. Um, many of the tables, well, Yes, many of them deferred. Some of them have like one percentage, some others have a, another percentage, but generally, must is like at the top because it's 100% sure. And might is almost like 50% down. And then the other ones are like in the middle. 
right? So, but uh, what I always advise to the students in this type of case, type of cases is that you know what you are saying. You understand what you are saying, because if you understand what you are saying, you will have a better idea what to use, right? So um, try not to translate everything, but sometimes like in this case, it might work that you know what you say, okay? So in this case, uh, let's leave, for example, only must, okay? So number four, um, let me see. I think that Claudia Esther was the last one, right? Claudia, can you choose another person? Uh, uh, Julio Bryan. I think that Julio Bryan is busy and cannot participate. I think, I think. Uh, uh, Sandra Marlene. Okay, Sandra. Can you participate? Sandra, give us a sign. No, okay, but we got Omar. Okay, Omar. Sure, I have a question. Okay. Uh, in every sentence, they are gonna to give us one hint to, to structure the, the sentence. Uh, for, for example, in this case, it's a past negative possibility. And the number four is a past willingness. Like oh. a hint always. Uh, oh, these are clues. No, actually, no. These are clues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Estas que da el ejercicio. Just clues. Okay. So, for you to have an idea, what you could use. Uh -huh. Easy way to, to structure the sentence. But in the exercise of yesterday, I got three, and i afraid of that. Ah, you <laughs> for that one. Uh -huh. Okay, um, that was a practice, you know. Um, let's do something, let's do something because um, in this one, that's how we're practicing. I mean, because it depends really, really much, like I said, um, on the structure of the sentence, okay? Pueden haber muchas posibilidades para una respuesta como esta, así como vimos en el número tres. Generalmente en ese ejercicio en línea que practicaron, Ponen una ya definida. Ah, yeah. Right? That is the thing. Right? Pero eso no significa que esa que han puesto definida, esa es la única que puede ser respuesta. It can be more. Right? That is the problem with those little type of exercises. But with the one that I assigned for homework, I was checking it, and I think that there is no way for you to get lost. Lost, sorry. Because, this, because of the type of sentences. I think that you will do great. Right, Thank but you. for that one, don't worry. Um, also, in the exam, we will practice, okay, later on, when we have the review, we'll, well, we always have a review for the exam, okay? okay. Um, okay. We you. will practice similar with similar exercises, okay? So don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna help with the number four. Uh, okay. We, this uh, past willingness, this, uh, He, we, who have joined. Oh, uh -huh. but we couldn't get a, a babysitter. Like this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Why we could have joined? Por qué estamos usando could? Because it's the opposite of the of the uh, predicado. <laughs> exactly. Basically, because of the context. Right? El mismo contexto de la oración nos está diciendo ya que, ah, ¿cuál quedaría mejor? Could. Right? Uh, gosh, time is running. Number five, Omar, choose another person. Melanie. Okay, Melanie. The weather. Wooden. <laughs> Wooden. Uh, 
It wouldn't have been any worse. Okay. Um, what are you saying like, in this room? Read the context. I mean, read the whole the whole context so you have a better idea. Uh, el wooden era. Para que el wooden significaba en Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, think on this. Think on this about what you want to say, right? Um, what? Do you understand, like, the whole context of what you want to say in the sentence? I I have some idea, but I don't know. Okay. El clima uh -huh. eh, no puede estar mal o no debería estar mal. Oh, we are not saying puede estar mal. Remember what you say when you had this structure? Podría. Debería. Ah, okay. I know the vive. No. Don't worry, don't worry. I just want you to um to remember. Remember what it means up here in these type of sentences? A ver, okay. And if we say been? Estado. A ver, estado, okay. When if we are using wood? Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, is a, if I say the wood for made, made not have been? You mean like this one? Have no, no. May might. Sorry, might. might not. Might not have been. Okay. Actually, grammatically, but look at the context. I, I will tell you this Spanish to be clear. El clima no podría haber estado peor. Eso es lo que quiere decir, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Cómo decimos podría? O pudo. Prudent. There you go. So. Y si yo hubiera puesto el, el, como lo puse, ¿verdad? El wood que decía ahí. So, remember that wood generally it's like um. Well, but it's because it depends on the context too much. Depende muchísimo el contexto. Entonces, to understand what you are saying is the one that will help you to know which one you are going to use. Let's try the number six. How it will be the number six? Melanie, you can choose a person that has not participated. Let me see. We have Laura, we have Cristabel, Eric Fernando. We had Gerson, Silvia, Daniel, uh, Leonel, I'm not sure Leonel can participate. We had Celia also, Claudia Diaz. Claudia Diaz has not said anything. Um, also Adriana. Maybe. Or Santiago. Uh, Claudia Diaz. Okay. Claudia Diaz, are you there with us? I remember that Claudia Diaz said that she just can be a listener. Oh, really? Let me see, I did not read it. She put it in the chat? Yes, in the WhatsApp. Oh, I lose too. Okay, anyway, uh, choose another one. Maybe um, Adriana Beatriz. Adriana? Hi. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't have a right on time. I couldn't have a right like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. It works fine, very good. Okay. Yeah, so why? Hey, I couldn't have a right on time, even if I had left earlier. There were dreadful traffic jams, okay? Había demasiado, muchísimo, extremely traffic, okay? So, um, 
I don't know. Uh, any doubts? Any doubts with this one right now? Vocabulary, you know the meaning of dreadful? No. Okay, it's like terrible. Terrible traffic jams. Oh, but in that one, it's just dread. And I think that in that case, it's dread with D-R-E-E-D. -E I watch it. La primera es con Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, that mean the dreadful is horrible? Yes, it's horrible. horrible. Yes, it's horrible. Okay. Okay, let me just uh, erase here them. Okay. I had another one for you. Okay. Um, let's try with this one. Okay. And then we have another exercise. Oh, we have like a hood too. Okay, for this one, they. One volunteer? Or who was the last one? They may have won the, the football match, but John hurt his ankle. They may have won. Very good. One, one. This one works fine. Okay. ¿Por qué funciona mejor aquí may? Are we sure? Are we sure that they might have won? ¿Estamos seguros que ellos pudieron haber ganado? No, the possibility is 50-50. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's a possibility. So, y si es una posibilidad, we are not sure. No es un advice, so we are not going to use should. So, in this case, it's better to use may or might. Si ya no estamos ni tan seguros, we use might. Okay? So, very good. Number eight. Tell me with the number eight. Mm, maybe, teacher, um, Amanda could, could have finished the work. Could have finished the work. Okay, but she fell ill and had to go home. Actually, yes, it works. Is there another model that could work? Mm, must? Mm, no, no, must no. not. No, because must is like, hey, you must. Yeah. But in this case, no, we are saying, oh, but she fell ill. Uh, would it would is a possibility ah uh, willingness and in this one uh, or may might may might this may. one would work fine okay teacher mm -hmm. tell me uh, all uh, all the sentences uh, the past willingness always I can use could may or might it could be actually because it depends right uh, because it's a possibility right um, and also it's like um, something that she wanted to do in this case you have to think which one would work better what funcionaría mejor could, may, or might? Might. Might. May. May. May, pardon. May. Sorry, may. May, might. Okay, could. ¿Qué tal si decimos? What, what about if we say, for example, could? Hey, Amanda pudo haber terminado su trabajo, pero se sintió enferma y tuvo que irse a casa. How does it sound that to you? Cool. Does, it, does it sound good? Or what about this one? Made or might? Amanda podría haber terminado su trabajo, pero se siente enferma y se fue, tuvo que ir a casa. 
Now that you know the meaning of both, which one sounds better to you? Good. We had pudo, podría. Podría. Ah, oh, no, sorry. May. Pudo. May or may. May or might. Okay. May or might. Yeah, actually, it could work fine. Okay. Um, time, quickly. Number nine. Let me see. Can you complete it? I will ask someone who has not participated. I have some people that are even with the camera off. I don't know if you are there or not. For example, let me see. Stephanie, are you there? No, let me see. Uh, Santiago, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Santiago, can you help me with the number nine? Lucy uh, should have left earlier. She missed her flight. Lucy should have left. Like this. Lucy should have left earlier. She missed her flight. Yeah, it's correct. Good. Why are we using should? Because it's a regret and or advice, right? But important, pass advice. Okay. Thank you, Santiago. Very nice. Let me see. Uh, now help me. Who else is there? Are they already? Yes, and they're ready. Leonel, are you there? No, okay, Daniel, are you there? No, Hersam, are you there? No, okay, wow. That's way too many. Eric Fernando, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Oh, good. Thank you. Number 10. Number 10. Maybe we couldn't have finished the game. Okay, very good. Even if we wanted to. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Good. So we couldn't have finished the game even if we had wanted to, okay? So great, number 11, uh, let me see. Oh, I think we got volunteer, Catherine. I, I don't sure, but I think is I shouldn't have eaten so, so much chocolate. I feel sick. Excellent, that's the one. Okay, that's the one. Okay, good. So you're getting it. Excellent. So questions so far. No questions? Okay, good. Let me then stop here sharing. Okay, and we are going to play a Kahoot. Give me just a second and I will share the link with you. Come on, it's loading this internet. It's not helping up. Let me see, classic mode, of course, getting ready to join, loading game team. And I got it now. I will paste it in the chat right now. Wow, I had not seen. Sorry, guys, no había visto los mensajes. Cristabel, for the moment, I'll be as a listener. Claudia Diaz, I'm going to listen to the class. Good, Eric Diaz, I'm working. Uh, MB, I don't remember who's MB. Working, Brian is working. Jocelyn, uh, as a listener. And Adaluz, as a listener, wow. 
That's way too many. Okay, I pasted the link in the chat. And I will paste it also in this chat. In a second. Here, here, there I go. Good, just let me know if I should wait for someone. Okay, should I wait for someone? Just let me know so I can wait and I don't start the game. Okay, guys, should I start? Oh, still joining. I have 16. And in the meeting, I got 26 right now. So like 10 people are missing, plus the ones that are just uh, listeners. Okay, I will start them. I go right now since nobody tells me anything. In three, in two, one, and here we go. Hmm, read it carefully. You had one minute. Okay, good. So let's analyze this one. So I should have spent more time studying. Maybe I would have gotten a better grade. Okay, 
So this is the more suitable thing, just like the other one. Okay. I might know because you're saying like a possibility, and this some is advice. It's like you're saying, oh, yo mismo, debía, debería haber estudiado más. Okay. So next one, let me see. Oh, there you go. Okay, Kathy, good job. Next one. Okay, so uh, should have no because it's not advice. Um, could have is a possibility, and we know that the door is closed. Would have would not apply, and then must have is the correct one, right? Si sabemos que la puerta está cerrada, entonces debe de estar cerrado. Ya debió haber cerrado el restaurante. Okay, so that's why it's, it must have. Let's see. Okay, Kathy's still there. Okay, next one. Okay, so we have like with the most suitable, okay? Not must, uh, because if no estuviéramos aseverando, asegurando, right? So it's not possible. Should have like is, should is for advice, right? Remember, and would have is of, oh, a Teddy le habría gustado, right? Le habría gustado la película. So that's would be the one. Then next one, okay, still Kathy, pretty good. Next one. Okay, so wow, it's still like must have, no. Remember that must is mandatory and will have, no estamos viendo will have. So, okay, for you to keep it in mind. Uh, next one. Okay, try with this one. You 
being so hard on Sarah. She tried her best. This one is easy. Oh, great, most of you got it. Okay, shouldn't have, very good. Uh, couldn't have with, no, because remember that it's like, no pudiste saber, um, yeah, that's not much. Okay, and would have neither, okay? So could have is the best option. Then, next one. Okay, wow, this one was like kind of hard. If, if, ah, uh, sorry, I might have had more time to study, okay? Uh, it's not must, it's not should, it's not could, okay? Uh, de acuerdo a los significantes, it wouldn't be this one, so it's my. Next one, Kathy is on fire, good. This one is easy. Okay, perfect. It should have and must have. Actually, here, here, it's possible to use must. Aunque la respuesta no se está dando should, but it would be possible to use must also, right? Depende que tan fuerte sea el advice that you are given, right? Um, it could be must also, okay? Uh, may and might, no in this case. Uh, next one. Okay, okay, the same happens here. Um, we could use or we could say may, it would be okay. However, because we have evidence that the lights won't turn on, tenemos evidencia. So it means that is the, I mean, the thing is strong, right? So in this case, it would be must, not made, right? It's the most suitable, okay? 
uh, and should know and could know, right? For uh, obvious reasons. And think that it comes the, oh, almost the last one. Waiting for two. Okay, one more. There we go. They shouldn't have eaten so many tacos. Now they are all sick. Okay. Um, it will be the negative one, but most of you got it correct. Okay. And then, good. Still got the good. The last one. Pay attention. We have evidence. I can't find my keys. One more. And come on, one more. <laughs> okay, time's up. It's must have. Why? Because I can't find my key, so I have evidence. So is it possible to say my hat may not have? Um, yes, but in this case, must have is the best one because of the context. Okay, so that's uh, for you to keep it in mind, guys. Okay, um, the context will always help you with that. Okay, so uh, Lily, third one, Omar, the second place, in first place, I think it was Kathy. No? Yes, she was Kathy. Very good job. Okay. Now, I will share with you in the chat a link. This is for you to practice. This is short. Solo son 10 ejercicios. There you go. Oh, what just happened? Uy, you copied this image? No, give me a second. My bad, my bad. Okay, there it is in the chat, and then I will paste it in this other chat. Wow. Uh, sorry, guys. No sé por qué lo copia como imagen ahí. Let me just try again. Now, yes. There you go. Okay, give it a try with those ones. Teacher, tell me just that. The excess salary is in Spanish. 
Uh, no. Uh, in the person I have in Spanish, the, the link. How is that possible? <laughs> yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, no, this is what you should see. Look. It's going to open this page and then you scroll down in here. A mí me pasó lo mismo. A mí me pasó lo mismo. Me salía en español, pero yo le di ahí en la donde aparece la dirección de la página. Creo que aparece un icono donde se le pone que no traduzca el, el sitio, que muestra la original. Thank you, Lilian. Ok. Teacher, tell me. Uh, I don't think uh, I can't change the the idioms or the language. Oh, but that's your browser. This is por su navegador. That's for your browser. Uh, if I'm not wrong, okay. Uh, where it is the address? Ahí donde está la dirección, si no me equivoco, donde se ve arriba. Donde se ve esa A a la derecha, cerca de la estrellita. Eh, en la barra de direcciones. ¿Acá? No, arriba. Donde está ¿Sí? la dirección, abajo. Ahí a la derecha. A la derecha. ¿Qué derecha, derecha? ¿Acá? Ok, ya, ya no veo su puntero. <ríe> ok, pero hay, hay una A. Hay una A a la par de la estrellita que tiene el símbolo de más y está otra A, una A mayúscula. Ay, eh, perdón. Ahí en la barra de direcciones. Si no me equivoco, creo que esa es. Aquí arriba, aquí tengo el dedito para arriba. Arriba, 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 justo arriba, más arriba. Es que si lo subo, me va a tirar el micrófono. Uh, oh, so no es not that one. Wow. Okay. Pero es donde tengo el dedito señalando hacia arriba. Yo creo que esa es. No estoy muy yes. seguro. ¿Es that, yes. that one, Lilian? Yes, es that. Ok, so okay. click on that one. Ok. Okay. Would you? Yes, teacher. I oh, can. Perfect. perfect.
By the way, in some of them, you will use can't. And algunos van a usar el can't. It's just to say, it like, for example, in the number one, I will help you. It would be, he can't have gone to Russia. He doesn't have a passport. Él no puede haber seguido a Rusia, no tiene pasaporte. So, for you to take it into account when you solve it. Hey guys, who is, how is it? Did you find it difficult? Okay, let's do something. Because of the time, let's solve it all together. Because if not, it's going to take us here many, much, much time. Okay, the number one. Look at the screen. Number one, what would it be? Can't. Can. Right, I mentioned that one. He can't. In the number two, what would it be? Most. Uh, is he can have should have should, should have. have oh sorry yes 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 sorry my bad thank you man there you go so uh tom and jack are so selfish uh they should have been there for you number three most which one 
must. You must have been. You must have seen her. Yes. She was standing next to you. Okay, very good. Number four. May have. May have. I explained it to her, but she may or might? Might. 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 Okay, very good. It's might have. Uh, I put might have, but uh, the, uh, I don't know why, but what's incorrect? I have to use may. May. Maybe the yeah. spelling, really? May have. May. In the first. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. Okay, let's give it might and let's see. <laughs> Someone talk? Uh, no, I I put the mic mic have and and I think it's okay. Okay, yeah, I, I think that it's might if I'm not wrong. And then in the other one, someone Must have. Must has. have. Ah, very good. Must have handed the keys in. Number six. I don't know why there weren't Might any. Might have. There? Might have. Might have. Might have. Been right. There. Might have. Like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe, maybe could. Could have. Okay, could have. There could have been, okay, pudo haber habido. Actually, yes, it's good. The number seven. Can't have. Can't have, very good. Can have been in number eight. Must have. Must have. Must have. Okay. Must have let you know what was happening, but I forgot. Um, I think that must have works, but um, it, should. Oh, should. Should have. I should have let you know what was happening, but I forgot. In number nine? Must have. There was must. so much traffic. Must have. Must have. We have evidence. Have. So there was much traffic. Okay. And the number 10, I saw his car in front of the building. He, must have. He must have. We have evidence. Oh, sorry, no se poniendo aquí el have. Have. And the number 11? Should have. Should, Should have. have. Should have. Should have. And the last one. Couldn't have. Couldn't. I couldn't have passed the course without your help. Um. Actually, yes. I think that. Oh, sorry. Like this. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, we had two incorrect ones. Let me see. I think that is because of the apostrophe. Creo que es el apostrophe. Yes, when it's I When I do, in the first, eh, lo puse en letras mayúsculas. O sea, solo copié y pegué de esas cosas que están ahí las azulitas. Y me las agarro como buenas. Por lo menos el Ken. Ah, yes, I think it's the apostrophe. Yo, a veces estos programas es este apostrophe. Because in my case, it's not the same. Let's see if we do it like that. Let me see if we can change it. Oh, no, we cannot change it. Okay, but anyway. Nope, it cannot change it. Okay, but I think this is apostrophe. Um, guys, last thing, okay, that we will work tonight is just this one, okay? But it's not going to be a role play because it's gonna take too much time, okay? 
just um, discuss. So discuss with your partner and give advice, okay? Just that, okay? You have four situations here, okay? Imagine that one of your partners, okay, for example, Joseph says, okay, I got fired for sleeping at my work or for watching Netflix, I don't know. Like <laughs> me, right? I ando un meme así como que está despedido y pausa Netflix, ¿por qué? <laughs> okay, so uh, A, you should have not slept in your work, right? So let's try to give that kind of advice to your partner, okay? And discuss these situations. Take a screenshot. I paste it in the chat for you, okay? And let's go to the rooms just for some minutes, okay? For you to practice. Please, the people um, that are as listeners, do not enter to the rooms. Los que están como oyentes no entren a las rooms, please. Así veo quienes están solos y los muevo. Okay, let's give it a try. In this case, uh, we talk about uh, the part uh, we need uh, to talk about the, uh, in past. Uh, uh, um, maybe uh, you can see, for example, hey Fernando, I need uh, I have a, a a problem because I. I broke up with my, in this case, my boyfriend or girlfriend, and in in mall, no sé, in, in some place. <laughs> it's a public. Ahí yo te puedo decir, ahí yo puedo decir, ah. Uh, you you should have waited uh, to stay in house. Debiste esperar a estar en casa. Sí, uh -huh. and um, you. Yo voy a estar pensando qué otro podríamos. Otro consejo. Ajá, otro consejo. <laughs> Puede ser. Puede ser, you, you should have. You, you must told. Eh, no, no, you, you must have told to him with, by phone. To, 
participar. Tampoco me voy a poder refinanciar como una institución. Sí, sí, sí. Give me a advice. I I am only only in my in my house. Sorry, in my house, and I'm scared. <laughs> scared. I'm scared. Okay, you should have. Y se me despidió de mi trabajo. Come in some for me. Sorry. Come in some for me. For sleeping at my for sleep at my home my my work in the afternoon. Oh, <laughs> You should have go to uh going to bed early last night. Okay, so yeah, I slept. You should have slept more in the night. Slept more in the night in the life in the night in teacher tell me yes uh, i can use not in and if you had for example if you hadn't, if you hadn't slept in your work. Uh -huh. okay. If you hadn't the, slept in your work, uh-huh. The, the, the instruction is, you should have slept more in the night. If you hadn't slept uh, in your work. Oh, no, in that case, no. If you had, if you had slept more last night, like that, yes. Si hubieras dormido más, if you had slept more, you would yeah. not have you would not have a sleeping a slept in your work. Okay. I can write it in the chat. Okay. Second. Okay, look at the chat. Ah, yes. Sí, porque si le pongo no soy bien feo. There you go. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Lydia, if you had slept more last night, you would not, you wouldn't have slept in your work. Hello. Hello. <laughs> And you Esmeralda? Is your your boyfriend in the house? <laughs> <laughs> in the house, maybe because <laughs> no in front of people. <laughs> 
your mm -hmm. advisor is very kind. <laughs> if one of my friends told me about uh, make an essay in the street, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell her um, something like, uh, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Wool, eh, may, my, must. Mm -hmm. okay. It's because you, all your advisor just should do just use should. I should have sleep to no. I should have. I shouldn't said yeah. I shouldn't have sleep too late. Uh, I should have played with. I shouldn't have played with the cell phone and I should have drunk chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The boyfriend and this one. And uh, I brought out with my boyfriend with her. I. You should have talk and the situation in other place. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So about mm, the last advisor was that I that I shouldn't make a lesson in the street. I could mm, uh, maybe you wouldn't have no 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 puede ser no puede ser. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Ay, no sé cómo decir es slip. No sé si se decía así. No, no, no. El fast participle of de dormir. Slip. 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 Es S L E P T. No sé si era así. Ay, no sé. No me acuerdo. In your work. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, uh, maybe. Otra para que no me despidan cuando me duermo en el trabajo. You rest at home every day. Uh, you you should. Uh, you should uh, eight hours eight hours at night and you can get up uh, a little a little late mm -hmm. but uh, si siguiera la estructura del, del... Ay, se me olvidó el tema de lo que estamos viendo eh, sería de agregarle el hub también en lo que usted dice usted dijo mm -hmm. you should what que no debería que, que debería de dormir ocho horas o que debió dormir ocho horas uh -huh. You must have <laughs> sleep to eight 
hours. Ay, no sé si está correcto. In other case. In mm. other case. Um, when. Let me see. Check the picture. Mm -hmm. um, in other case. Is. Um, uh, when. When you, you lie to my ball about the pressure. No. At the pro procedure, procedure. Que era procedure. I don't know. Procedure is a, um, a different uh, step when you realize uh, uh, one report. Mm -hmm. Oh, when you doing a, a, a the mm, why am I in the area of the office? The activity, the activities of the office. How do you say? The activities of the Como... Ajá, lo que, lo que hacemos. Lo, <risa> se me ha escapado la. No, ni yo. La no de la quiero. casa se. Okay, time is over. And yeah, time of the class too, wow. Um, let's wait for the other ones. And I just want to ask how you had heard this topic. Okay, coming back, coming back. Seventeen, eighteen, and no more. Okay, Jose Fernando sleepy, <laughs> looking kind of right. Teacher, uh, I am so tired because today is very complicated for me. <laughs> oh gosh, I imagine. So if this is a double F for the one that you are making right now. Okay, but we, we just finished, okay? We just finished. No les voy a preguntar nada ahorita. We just finished. I just want to ask something, right? Um, how do you feel the topic? Do you want me um, Do you want me to continue on Monday with this topic? Continue yes. Monday. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. 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 Very there is For practicing. Okay, good. Monday, we continue with the topic, right? No vamos a empezar tema nuevo lunes. We continue with this topic, practicing. Okay. okay and I will try homework. to do the homework. If you feel that you can complete it, do it. Okay. No. Right. So I'm not ready. The, the, the advantage, the advantage of that homework is that you can try, and if it is incorrect, you can try again. Right. And you can continue trying. Right. It's a okay. practice. Okay. Recuerde que a pesar de que la tarea es una nota, también es una práctica para ustedes. Entonces. Uh, it's the light worksheets. Lo que significa que usted la puede tomar una vez. Okay. Um, la puede tomar otra vez. Not a problem. Right? Entonces, ahí para que practique también. So, um, and then on Monday, we continue practicing more. Okay? That's what we will do. I hope that you rest on the weekend. Espero que descansen mucho el fin de semana. Yeah, thank you. Okay? And I will see you on Monday. Right? Thanks. See you around. Okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night.